What the standard deviation is saying is, on average, how much does the average uh, value in the set vary from the mean value? So here we have a set of three numbers, 1, 2, and 6. And their average, or mean, is 3. And we're going to find their standard deviation. So what you do to do that is you're going to subtract each um, individual value from the mean. So we're going to have 1 minus 3, this 1 minus 3, 2 minus 3, and 6 minus 3. So that's what we did right here. Here's the individual um, observation, and then this x bar is also the mean. And what we're going to do is we're going to square each one of these. As you can see it's squared. Because we're going to wind up with negatives, and uh, these two are obviously going to be negative. This will be positive. And we have to square it and then take the square root or else we would wind up with um, zero no matter what when we add them together. So in order to see how they differ from the mean, we have to um, have a positive number for, for that difference as opposed to a negative number because if we just did this and we, we took 1 minus 3 is negative 2, 2 minus 3 is negative 1, um, and 6 minus 3 is 3, and we added those numbers, we always get zero. So that's why we have to do this squared and then the square root term. So what we're going to do is we're going to square each one of these, like it says, and take its square root. And then each value that we get here, we're going to add together. That's what this summation is telling us. And then to get the standard deviation, we're going to divide that by n, but we're going to do this first. So 1 minus 3 is negative 2, squared is 4, and the square root of that is 2. 2 minus 3 one, is negative 1, squared is 1, square root of that is 1. And 6 minus 3 is 3, squared is 9, square root of that is 3. Alright, so we're going to add these 3 up and get 6. So this whole top term here is 6. Um, and then we're going to divide by this n. n is the number of observations in the set. So there's 3 observations. We're going to divide by 3. So we have the standard deviation of this set is 2. And what that means is, on average, the number in the set differs from the mean by 2. And you can see that, that it's obvious here because um, 1 differs by 2 from the mean, 2 differs by 1, and 3 differs by 3. So basically what we're doing is taking the average of the difference from the mean. Um, and that's what the standard deviation is. In this case, it's 2.